I really am looking forward to hugging my mum. Can't see the family and they're having a party. Um, forgive me. Hands up anybody who's been to Peppa Pig World. There are a lot of people here who need to go to work. There's no fuel. The United States ended 20 years of war in Afghanistan. My dear papa was a very special person. BBC employees lied to obtain the interview with my mother. They tell you you're the world champion is something incredible. I barely had a moment to really sink in. You have no authority here, Jackie Weaver. Save the conservatorship of Britney Spears has been terminated. This is Sky News Radio. From the Sky News Centre at six, the mum, stepdad and stepbrother of schoolboy Logan Wangi have all been jailed for his murder. The five-year-old's body was found dumped in a river in Bridge End last summer. Matt Steele has more details. Craig Mulligan was just 13 when he took part in brutal assaults on Logan and helped dispose of his body. In court, he was called a monster who repeatedly threatened to kill his stepbrother. A judge ruled he should be locked up for at least 15 years and lose his anonymity. Logan's mum, Ang Harrod Williamson, and stepfather, John Cole, have been jailed for a minimum of 28 and 29 years. BT engineers and call centre staff have voted to go on strike in a row of a pay. The CWU union says it's the first national strike since the company was privatised in the 1980s. Ten people have been taken into custody in France over the deaths of 27 migrants in the English Channel. The victims died while attempting the dangerous crossing from France to the UK in November. Formula One's distancing itself from the former boss after Bernie Eccleston claimed he'd take a bullet for Vladimir Putin. The 91-year-old billionaire's called the Russian president a first-class person. It's been another good day for British tennis at Wimbledon, live to Joe Rawson on centre court. There's been career best wins for both Katie Balter and Liam Brody. Both are through to the third round for the first time, with Heather Watson also joining them. Jack Draper is about to get underway against Aussie Alex Demino. Women's world number one, Iga Sviontek, is also through, while Rafa Nadal is two sets up against Ricard Asparankis here on centre court. And Lewis Hamilton says he's incredibly grateful for all the support he's been shown following Nelson Piquet's alleged, alleged racist slur against him. The 69-year-old Brazilian, a three-time F1 world champion, has apologised wholeheartedly, saying he's been mistranslated. National lottery bosses say a yet-to-be-claimed £7 million jackpot winning ticket was bought in Wolverhampton. The lotto prize was won in the draw on June the 18th. That's the latest. I'm Tim Jones.